So you've heard me talk a lot about this D3O technology, and I'm sure you uh, party was saying, what, what is he talking about? He hasn't explained it yet. So I apologize, but here it is. We got the D3O technology. D3O is a, is a polymeric material which remains soft and flexible during normal use. Uh, upon a fast impact or a fast hit, uh, the actual material itself has a molecular structure that will actually harden up upon impact and provide protection. This is a, this is a form that's in the K18 padding. So you take a look at the K18 stuff, this is what you're seeing. It's throughout all the pads right here. This, we got the elbow pad right here. It's in the elbow and it's up top here in the top of the elbow pad. It's very flexible. So as you're moving down the cross field, you take a look, very flexible. It's like having this on top of you and you can see that clearly this isn't restricting you at all. Very, very flexible. But the second you get hit, the molecules go from flowing like they are now to locked. D3O was originally used in mortar sports and action sports. Uh, such as motocross, BMX, mountain biking, and snowboarding. Uh, we found it to be re uh, very relevant for lacrosse equipment in regards to it being flexible, but yet still protected material. Um, the key zones in the, in the new K18 line were primarily um, key areas where Kyle needed flexibility and, and maximum articulation. Uh, areas such as the elbow or the shoulders or um, some areas of the glove, like the back of the fingers, where D3O still remains flexible, but yet stiffens up upon impact. Imagine that you're going down the field, you're cradling, you're feeling good, you're flexible, you're flowing. Now all of a sudden, some pull comes up and cracks you on the arm. This is exactly what's going to happen. It's going to bounce right off of you, and the molecules lock up. So this is D3O technology, and it's on all the new cases patterns.